Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild I just said that Hmm What? My eyes are opened. Open your eyes. I don't know who she is, but she sounds thick. Open your eyes. My eyes are open. Wake up, Link. Link is in a blue suit. And he's naked. You're like, what the fuck am I? Oh, he had a ponytail already. Please explain. Okay, we're in a weird blue area. What it do? It's your boy KJ. Y'all thought I forgot, right? All right, so we gonna play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, I've been playing Link's Awakening and recently I just felt like, listen, I want to play Breath of the Wild again. Now, I put like over 300 and something hours into this game when it first came out. So I'm going to try to put a, a picture of that somewhere. But anyway, I want to play it again. It's going to take a little bit, you know, but uh, I don't care. Wait a second. Can I start this on Master Mode? That is a Sheikah Slate. That's a Nintendo Switch. Take it. It will help guide you after I want to take you. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. I want you to guide me into that. Oof. Yeah, that's a switch. The Nintendo Switch, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Because it kind of looks like a Nintendo Switch. Okay. So, hold on a second. Let's save here. And let's see if all my shit... Okay. I got all of the DLC, DLCs. But I want to go to... Yeah. So this is not on master mode. We're going to put it on master mode because your boy needs a challenge. Okay, thank you. Play in master mode. Would you like to play in master mode? Yes, I would like to. That's why I pressed the fucking button. You cannot use Amiibo until you've reached a certain point in the game. Try again until you make some progress. New game. I'm going to skip this. I'll see y'all in uh, 30 minutes or something like that. And we're back. All right. So now we're in master mode. So your boy has a real good challenge. I'm going to open these joints. Hey, well, well worn. Damn, that's a tongue twister. Trousers. Here's the thing, though. What if I just want to stay naked? Naked. Naked. Okay. Make sure here. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. So, 
it's been so long that I played this game that I honestly don't remember how the shit starts. Like, I don't remember. There was 120 uh, shrines that you do. I remember that. I remember the Master Sword thing. I remember the Divine Beasts. But I don't remember, you know, obviously what happens in each individual shrine. So, you know, it's going to be like trying to get back into the groove of things and, well, spend some time. And um, Link's Awakening has kind of really you made it light. so I want to play Our this again. Light. I'm the light. Shine upon Hyrule once again. I got you, baby girl. Now go. Okay. Gracias. So, like I said, after playing Link's Awakening, I've been dying to play this so and it doesn't look you know the greatest obviously but man still a great game the legend of zelda breath of the motherfucking wild I remember this part. Got a tree branch, bitch. Knock somebody out with it. We're gonna gather some stuff. Alright, let's go to the old man. Squirrel. Shit. There goes the apple. Hey. So it's like, did he fall asleep and was like, yo, I forgot every single thing, what every single thing is. Like, I don't know that's an apple. I don't know that's an axe. I don't know it's a mushroom. Like, what happened? It's a baked apple. I beg your pardon? I do believe that that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh, ho. Forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make a succulent treat. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you, bitch? Me. I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who lit who has lived here alone for quite some time now. I hope you permit me a question, if I may be so bold. Are you not chilly? Where are we? <laughs> Answering a question with a question. That's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting. To be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to the legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. That temple there. Long ago it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has set abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Yeah, give me this torch. Well then, just help yourself to the torch there. And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? That is rather <laughs> unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know, there are plenty of monsters in the area. The torch would make a good weapon if need be. 
<laughs> However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock sights on them. Oh, okay. I never knew that. Psych, I knew that. This is before we get the glider and anything. And we're just going to stay booky naked. Now I hear this bitch in my head. Point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. Okay. Gotta go here, okay. Bitch. Oh my goodness. Well, that was something. some shrooms. Dude, when you have no weapons and you butt ass naked over here, it's horrible. Like, horrible. So fuck him. And fuck these choo-choos. Put some clothes on. I wish I had my old inventory, and I wish I didn't have to go around collecting all this shit. But I guess that's the point, right? Place the Sheikah, the Sheikah slate on the pedestal. Look, he looking at it. It's like the only tower that actually does this. Plateau Tower. Distilling local information. Ooh. Got that water droplet. Boom. Of information. So juicy. Regional map extracted. Remember. Try, Try to remember. remember. You have been asleep for the, for the past, past 100, 100 years. years. <laughs> beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Now then, 
You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. Okay. Main quest complete. Oh shit. That was close. I almost just died. So I'm trying not to die. Trying everything I can not to fucking die in this game. Like ever. No death. This is a no death run. Am I? It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? Yeah, I saw your daughter. She was thick. I want that mouth. I heard a voice. Well now, a voice you said. And did you happen to recognize this voice? It seems I have some work to do. Is there any your trust? I suppose that is understandable. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, the vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There, it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Oh. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Mm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Paraglider? Oh, piqued your interest, have I? I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Mm. Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Mm. Let's see now. How about you trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Hmm. Come, let me show you something. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with the strange light? It's orange. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Go on, fetch me any treasure you find and sign that shrine. I'm looking forward to your successful return. Thanks, old man. Suck a dick, bitch. Oh, man. Oh, Hey, thanks for the ruby. Okay, gracias. We going in, we going in. And we here, boss. Those that foot in the shrine, I am on my owl. Something, 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 something.
Shika Slate Authenticated Distilling Room. All right, we're building up that wet stuff. Boom. Juicy. Magnesis. Manipulate me metallic objects using magnesis. Rune extracted. Okie dokie. Karachoki. Yeah, I got it. I know how to use it. I don't need no goddamn ladder. Screw Ancient Spring. Okay, and then let's put this joint here. And then let's open this joint. Simple enough. You have proven to possess the resolve of a, of a true hero. I am Oma Ao, the creator Ao of this trial. Ao. I am I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess Hylia, dedicated to something. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. He's like, how you put that in me? Oh, no, on. Thank you. May the goddess smile upon you. What's up, bitch? Hey. Came through. Glad. It seems you managed to get your hands on the spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? Clairvoyance. Or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. The appearance of these towers and the awakening of this shrine... It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. 
It is interesting, however, to think how someone like that survived all this time, hidden away in the shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. That wasn't a deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that you won't be. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, it I will also teach you a trick to finding some shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on the Sheikah Slate. See those blue icons? You can res recognize the cave where you awoke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard some t quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Thanks, old man. All right, y'all. Well, I feel like playing this, so I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I appreciate y'all watching, and I will see y'all next time. Laters.